Hello everyone, it's Canadian Titan, and I'm here playing Civilization Beyond Earth. I have had a long history with Civilization games, and not always good. But my cousin joins me today in order for us to play Beyond Earth, and he's going to show me, hopefully, how to win at this. Right, Mark? Yeah, I've, <laughs> well, hopeful. I mean, I've only played this uh, once so far like not civilization itself but just uh, beyond earth once and i ended up winning my first game so hopefully i can teach you a little bit all right well the first thing i see is um a piece of land and it looks like it's trying to have me select where i want to do my initial like city or colony yeah um do you have the same kind of thing yes i do or obviously with as much resources as possible if you can get on a coastal city that's Ooh, probably even better. I'm landing. Alright, my first city exists. Where's oh, yeah, city? I just landed as well. Oh, so part of the thing with my map, um, with my starting thing, is I was able to see all of where the coast is. I see you. I, I don't know if you can see what I see, but I see all of the coast. Yep. I do. So that's good. So that was good for us to choose that. So now we know we're on diff different opposite city or continents, Islands, but yeah, continents, yeah. oh well, we can uh, work out our stuff between that. So I have a soldier and I'm going to start doing uh, my old earth relic for five turns and I'm going to start exploring with my soldiers. So you'll notice that in older games, they had the Barbarians and the Wanderers. Yep. Um, these ones have aliens. So similar stuff to the Barbarians, but they have alien nests as well. The alien nests every once in a while produces a, a new alien that comes out of it. Um, what? In order to slow down the production of aliens at these nests, all you do is you take a soldier unit or any type of mil military unit and take over that one. And not only will you get uh, science, but you'll also get uh, energy credits as well. Hmm. So it slows them down from attacking your city and um, attacking your soldiers as well. Ooh, I just went to the research tree. Yes, so the research tree. So if Ooh. once you're in there, if you go to the uh, top left-hand side, you'll notice that there's a filter. Yep, filter. So there are four, sorry, three main, um, I guess, f factions or the way that you want to grow your type of people. There's purity, harmony, and supremacy. If you actually click on or hover over the three at the top, you'll yep. notice that each one gives you different things depending upon what level your um, your whatever is in it. Okay, yep. Um, and people who are supremacists don't like people who have high levels in harmony. And purity I guess doesn't like one of the other ones, but basically it works out that they don't, they don't like each other. So the AI... Rock, paper, scissors. Yeah, when I was when I was playing at the beginning, I was play, uh, working on supremacy. One of the other AI, or the AI was harmony, and he was like, "I don't really like you because our views are different." And then I'm like, "Oh, okay. Well, I'll start doing some harmony stuff to get upgrades with um, my units in harmony." And that person started to like me, but the other gr uh, AI that was supremacy, uh, supremacy no longer liked me anymore. And started becoming hostile towards me and i was like oh okay that's kind of interesting but if you filter by one of those three you can see what building or which ones will give you points towards those oh i see yeah 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 all right interesting i think the first thing i'm going to go after is chemistry though because it's close to my habitation, which is researched. And it looks yeah. like it'll take 19 turns, and it'll give me the labor laboratory, which will give me more science. Yeah, right now, um, it wants me to go engineering, which is 32 turns. My chemistry is at 12 turns. So, 
I think th last time I played Harmony, it was kind of interesting. I think this time I want to try and do a um, a supremacy build. Oh, also, if you notice too, if you have no filter um, on the circular um, diagrams, mm -hmm. there's either red, yellow, or blue. Yep. On only certain ones, that's where you know that you're going to be getting um, certain experience towards supremacy or whatever else. Okay. If you don't want to filter by it. Right, right, right. So once I've selected which one I want to do, I just click return to map. Yes, correct. Easy. And I think I'm going to, I wonder, because we're on the same team, Yep. if, because you chose chemistry and I choose chemistry, that's why it's going to be 12 turns. I don't know. You think it's faster if we work together? Is that how it's going to work? I think so. Yeah, let's, let's do chemistry. Um, and I'm going to set you off to explore. Okay. Oh, and I also have an explorer, and I'm going to send him off to explore. Um, on the very bottom, uh, near the next turn, you have your diplomacy tab, obviously. Yep. Virtues, which is um, little bonuses you get um, from your... Uh, I would guess... To equate it back to like Civ Four and Civ Three, it was uh, your artists. Okay. Um, so you just get little bonuses throughout there. Um, if you notice on the very far left-hand side, you get synergy bonuses. So every time you choose one of a any four of those, one of those little bubbles will uh, light up. Hmm. Once you get a total of five on the first tier, or five or si six on the first tier, you get to choose one free virtue. Uh, another four after that will get you a plus 10% um, production and plus 10% energy in your capital. But you can do it however you want, whatever works well for you. I focused myself on industry and might last time and I did mine. Right. Beside that is covert ops. So this one is really cool. Once you get into a spy organization, you can start sending your spies out to not only your uh, your own city to do counterintelligence, but you can do it to other cities to try and steal some energy or steal some research or do a whole bunch of other stuff. Hmm. And it's actually very, very easy to do the covert ops in these ones, which I really liked about that. I found in other the other SIBs, it was really hard to kind of do those counterintelligence kind of thing. Right. Upgrade units are really cool. So once you get those one of those three up to a certain level, it actually upgrades your uh, certain units. So if you go into, I don't know if you have soldier, oh, yeah, but if yeah. you have a soldier, depending upon where it is, depends on what level. So you can see how they upgrade and what they look like when they upgrade. That's cool. So, yeah, and then you get to choose between one upgrade or like one side or the other. So either you get 20% when, and when they're next to a friendly unit and then 10, plus 10 strength, or they get 8% per adjacent friendly unit, and then 10 strength. If you go on the supremacy, uh, supremacy side. Right. If you go on the purity side, then you'll get plus 30% when defending, plus 10 strength, or 10% per unused movement, if you wanted to do something like that, or the harmony, you get some pretty good ones as well. Good to know. Um, actually, looking at these, it all depends on what I feel like. <laughs> there's quests and victories. Yep. So the victories were the two that you decided to uh, only allow two of. So domination, obviously, and the transcendence one, which is the one that I uh, that I was able to do. So you have to research transgenetics, swarm intelligence, and then nanorobotics. That's just to, to kick off the transcendence thing. Then you also have to build something... Uh, build something else and then it takes something like um however long it takes to build that wonder yep and somebody else can build uh, the transcendence wonder as well and then from there once the transcendence thing is built then it takes 41 turn or roughly 41 turns to you for you to actually beat the game hmm. all right and then once you've once you've done your transcendence then the game is is won 
and obviously for domination is controlling all original capital cities. Yep. And then last but not least, we have orbital view. Yes, because they have satellites now that you can put up satellites that do uh, different things. Um, I, di I didn't really explore satellites too much when I was doing my playthrough, just because it was my first playthrough. Mm -hmm. But later on, towards the end of mine, I also, I did use some solar arrays, which would launch up into space. And in the area of effect that they were um, affecting, they actually increased my energy production in those uh, nine areas. Or what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight areas by plus one energy. So I was getting, like, if it was on tiles that I owned by one of my cities, I was getting eight extra energy per turn from that solar uh, that solar array. Very cool. Yeah. So I'm ready to next turn it. I've moved all of my stuff. Oh, so you've discovered an alien nest right beside you. Yeah, alien manticore. Yes, so those things are arranged. They are ranged. So they can hit within two tiles of them. Okay. So be very wary of those with your explorer. Your explorer obviously is very squishy. Um, I would suggest probably moving your explorer down farther and away from them. But you see how um, there is... Eight floatstone. If you actually go up to your little mini map yeah, and yeah. you click on alien nest, or sorry, you click on the little eye and then you click on the alien nest, you can actually see that that floatstone turns into um, what looks like a little hive. Okay. That way you know that there is an actual um, a nest there, and once you actually go on on the nest and destroy the nest then they won't produce any more uh, any more aliens for the time being. Good to know. All right. Back to Ooh, I've got gold over at mine. Awesome. So they're going to move at the end of that turn, and they're going to move at the end of that turn. I can't really do a whole lot. So I'm just going to let them my turn finish. In the, in, in the beginning, it's a lot of next turn, next turn, next turn, just kind of waiting for... Oh, like every sim game. Yeah. Ooh, a resource pod. Ooh, I found another alien nest. Yep. Alien and I... And Xenomass. Ooh, they just attacked you. Did they? Yes, they did, because you were, have been damaged by half health. Oh. My suggestion is if you can, turn them around and run them as fast as, away as possible. Yeah, I can't until next turn. Yeah. Um, what you can also do is they have uh, a, the option to fortify until healed. So they get a bonus for being fortified, and they heal themselves 10 hit points every turn. I'll try to move them away first, and then I'll try yeah, to... Yeah, that's, that's definitely a suggestion. If you come over to my screen, uh, over to where my settlement is, yep. towards the north of my settlement, there's a little, um, a little pod there. You can I can actually go there and that'll give me resources for what I kind of like the old runes. Okay. Sorry, so I'm laughing quick map because bonuses. Yeah, I'm laughing because my uh, wife was watching Family Guy today, and when Stewie said uh, the evening is ruined, and uh, Brian was like, "How do you save ruins? Ruin? How do you save save ruined? Ruin?" <laughs> um, sorry, I digress. <laughs> <laughs> And just underneath the, just underneath the, the, what is that? The uh, pod, the re resource pod, there's also a expedition. So my explorer can do an expedition there and I might be able to find, um, what have I found in the past? In the past, I found alien creatures that became under my control because I uh, excavated it. It was, yeah, a couple really cool things that you can find. Cool. So. I'm going to go to the next turn. Thankfully, my explorer is going to automatically go over to one of the two of those and do that. Oh, it looks like we are getting a new player in the game. So CEO Susan Fielding is going to be joining us very shortly, I think. That's one of the AI players? 
Yes. My city has grown. Ah, so is mine. And I can now develop a virtue. So I am going to go with... Adaptive Tactics. I'm going to go for Might on mine. Try and get some strength going on. So my quest log. So a gift from home. So if I find two resource pods, I get a gift from home as one of my uh, one of my quests. Okay. I don't know if you have the if you would have the same quest log as well. Uh, I currently don't have any quests. Okay, so the, it, that's interesting. That's not that doesn't get shared. Okay. So my sol sol soldiers are slowly looking around. Trying to figure out what's going on. So hopefully my explorer... Oh, look at that, another one. Oh, lucky. And another resource pod. I just have all the so, bad guys. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to cancel and move myself down to this expedition and move my soldiers up to that resource pod there. It's going to take them a little bit longer to get there, but at the same time, I can start that exp expedition or the excavation. Let's see about going through that. Yay! I just built my item. Ooh, yes, I should get a worker going. Right. That's where you have the advantage over me is being able to do that. Do what? To have that work free worker from your starting thing. Ah. Uh. So yeah, don't forget to heal your your explorer, because it would be a shame to lose them so early in the in the match. Fortified till healed. Wonderful. Oh, and don't forget that you can also, um, with the the energy or the currency that you have, um, if you click on your city's name, you can actually open up the um, the I don't know what they call this. I guess it's the city view. Yep. It allows you to purchase different spots if you want to by uh, yeah, spending I the money. I expanded my city by one tile already. Ah, okay. That's awesome. To try and get some more resources, or yep. The unfortunate thing about that is you also have to have the citizens in order to work those locations. Right. Go, just developed another virtue. Survivalism. Plus 25% strength and ranged strength against alien life forms. There we go. Oh, quest decision. Okay. Would you be interested in me reading some of these or some of these quest decisions, or did you want to read off the ones that you see on your screen? No, go ahead. Uh, I don't know if your viewers are going to be able to see this, but what I have is Occupational Hazard Quest Decision. It's clear that the indigenous species of this planet may pose a threat to our growth. Though we cannot determine their intelligence, their hostility has been documented. Moving forward, we must decide how to deal with them. Do we attempt to domesticate the local wildlife or examine it? And it gives us two options. We can domesticate the wildlife, which increases our harmony and our supremacy, or we can eradicate it, which uh, increases our purity. Hmm. Hmm. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and domesticate it because I don't really wanna go for a purity build. I kind of want to do the whole supremacy build um, which would hopefully, doing this, will allow us to get another creature. But I guess we'll have to see. Sounds good. 
Oh, yes. Another thing that I've also noted. And I just noticed this because my uh, explorer just took uh, health damage. So around the map, there are what looks to be little like green uh, clouds. Yes. So I think the pronunciation for that is miasma. Um, and these fields um, are filled with miasma. The aliens, once they're in those miasma fields, actually heal by five. But until we get the ability to do that ourselves, every time we're, we end our turn in those miasma clouds, uh, we, it does 10 damage to us. Oh. Yes. The nice thing is, is through science and technology, we actually have our workers that will be able to clear the miasma fields. Hmm. So it'll help definitely around our cities in order to build stuff in those locations. Good to know. Okay, so I'm going to build my first expedition. It's going to take me seven turns. Hopefully I don't die in those seven turns. So how long until your chemistry is done? Three turns. Yep, it looks like we're sharing our... Uh, sharing our research. Nice. Which, that is a very good thing. You still there? Okay, so I've got my first worker, so I'm going to put them to automated mode. I love doing we have that. discovered chemistry. Awesome. I am going to build a recycler in my city. So, what shall we work on next? You pick. This, this window is just so busy. <laughs> it is very, very overwhelming. Um... So it all depends, because we can build wonders as well. Well, what's the plan? I'm not quite sure at the moment. Is it? Physics allows for a ranger, which is good because that's a distance attack. Observatories for science and a launch complex. So the launch complex allows you to have to launch into orbit items. But what I was thinking is that if we go with um, engineering, we can get a combat rover, uh, thorium reactors, which help with um, energy. Mm -hmm. Repair facilities, which helps with increasing production of land units and reveals titanium. All and right. we need titanium on the map in order to, or see where titanium is in order for us to get certain troops. Well, let's do engineering. All right. There we go. they get up there. Ooh, I've got some nasty bugs near my, near my soldiers. Ooh, 
how much longer? Three. Are we going to be able to survive that or not? Hmm. So we just have to see. Found a resource pod, but it's beyond the... Uh, yeah. Beyond the bad guys. Oh no, look at all of them. <laughs> oh, you have some soldiers, that's good. Yep. It's wonderful. Okay, so my guys are up there and they have actually grabbed that resource pod that I needed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fortify my guys there because they are at half health. Outpost research pioneering. All right, so we can't build colonies, new colonies, until we've researched pioneering. So I think after engineering, we should definitely research pioneering. Sounds good. Oh no, this is one more for my expedition. Hopefully, I can actually survive it. strength do I have left? Oh, there we go. Oh, wonderful. So you are going to move right there. And I'm going to 